Welcome back, everyone. So are you ready for the 5G future? If you're still maybe a little baffled by it, you're not alone. The newest generation wireless standard has just started to hit the market. Gardner Research says that $4.2 billion is currently being spent on 5G wireless network infrastructures worldwide. In 2019, there were 10 million connections, and by 2023, you might be one of the 1.1 billion 5G connections. Stop 5G! Stop 5G! Whether you want it or not, 5G is here. So what is it? 5G is what comes after 4G and before 6G. The cell signal? 5G stands for the fifth generation of cellular networks. The major difference, speed. Recent speed tests put 5G ultra wide brand downloads at 988 megabits per second. That's an 820 per second increase over LTE. This means faster download speeds for videos and streaming, 50 times lower latency, and way less buffering. So what does 5G mean for you? Right now, not that much. 5G is limited to areas with 5G towers and to devices that are capable of interpreting the signal. To use 5G, you need a 5G-capable phone. Top players in the 5G game are Apple, Samsung, Google, T-Mobile, and Verizon. All phones and cell towers emit electromagnetic energy, but the FDA has limits in place for 5G radiation. The FCC reports that there is no evidence of harm. Now, while the 5G switch isn't a pressing task for everyone, getting a 5G-capable phone now to prepare for the future is what experts call future-proofing, or ensuring your phone survives the worldwide Internet upgrade, at least until 6G comes around, which, as the man said, comes after 5G. So whether it's 5G or 4G, what is the fastest mobile network? One company claims the bragging rights ahead. The speed test, it shows where your provider stands.